The issue with fermentation or uh, bacterial metabolism of, of substrates is, uh, is one that um, needs to be considered in the context of the age of the, of the, of the pig. Uh, if we are talking about a young piglet in lactation or in the first two weeks or thereabouts after weaning, then because their base diet was milk, then they will have um, less fermentative or digestive capacity uh, in right along the gastrointestinal tract, except arguably in the stomach, of course, where um, you know where where there is an, uh, where there is an, a very efficient digestive process. When we change that piglet from milk onto cereals, such as wheat and barley or corn, and onto proteins, then it takes time for that gastrointestinal tract to adapt to a different feed feedstocks, um, if you like, um, uh, um, and the fermentative capacity along the small intestine is is actually quite limited in in a young piglet uh, eating a solid food. There is some capacity that again increases with time after weaning or increases with age towards the end of the small intestine around the, um, around the ileocecal um, sphincter and there some of the more digestible type of carbohydrates, uh, the more fermentable carbohydrates will, um, will undergo some level of, of disappearance or digestion. So an example there are some oligosaccharides that that might be fed to piglets, um, or uh, beta-glucans in barley, for example, particularly hullless barley, can be quite readily digested um, at the end of the small intestine. Not 100%, but there will be some fermentation. Then, of course, you move into the large intestine, where again, with time after weaning, that fermentative capacity will, will increase, such that, you know, by the time the pig is seven, eight weeks after weaning, uh, sorry, after birth, then it takes on characteristics of fermentation capacity that, that, um, that are much larger than when they were immediately weaned. So fermentability is, um, uh, and then of course, when you get to a sow, um, they derive quite a lot of energy from fermentation in the large in, in the small intestine and the large intestine, but they're obviously a much bigger animal, um, a much greater biomass of, of bacteria and have adapted to over time to, um, to those particular feed substrates. So I think that's the, that's the kind of um, overall picture. It's very dependent on the age of the animal, um, on the type of carbohydrate and or protein because protein can be fermented as well, of course. And when we're looking at that young piglet after weaning, that is a bit more susceptible to some of the challenges associated with weaning, then um, again, we don't want to um, promote excess protein fermentation uh, because that can be deleterious. And we need to find a balance between fermentable type fiber sources and less fermentable fibre sources such that the, the, the balance of the gastrointestinal tract is, is maintained.